It's really important for kids to go to school. Every single day counts. Every day is important, not only about the messages they hear in school, but the messages that we give our children. We have to teach our kids from kindergarten on that school is important and it's an important part of our lives. We know sick days come and there may be a day or two when your child is too ill to come to school. That's okay. We want them back as soon as they're strong enough to return and we can do it if we work together as a team. My name is Judith Edwards. I'm Senior Director of Nursing Services for Albuquerque Public Schools. I've been with APS for 21 years, a school nurse for 20, and director for one. I'm the mama of four and grandma of three. I've been on both sides of the fence, parent and school nurse. And I think one of the best kept secrets we have at APS is how we have a school nurse available to every single family in the district. When is sick too sick for school? Well. You can send them to school if they've got a runny nose or just a little cough but no other symptoms and no fever. It's okay, send them on. You can send them to school when they're having allergies. Itchy nose, clear runny eyes. The next thing is how well is my child? Take a look at your child. Are they able to play? Are they eating? Are they drinking? Then more than likely it's okay to send them to school. If they're lethargic, meaning sleepy, not able to stay awake, crying and generally in discomfort, of course, keep your child home. Well, the first thing we talk about a lot is a fever. Oh my gosh, my child has a fever. But what is a fever? First off, you need to check it with the thermometer. So we say a temp above 100.3, you need to keep your child home. Now remember, when they run around outside in the sun, you come in, take their temperature. Their temperature might be 100.3, but they've been out in the sun. In the morning, they're not feeling well, you don't have that worry. How long do you keep them home? Well, you need to be 24 hours without a fever and no medication on board that might have brought it down. So that's 24 hours, no temperature, without the use of, say, Tylenol, Ibuprofen, or Advil, one of those pain relievers that bring down temperatures. The first few days of a cold can be very uncomfortable, whether they're a little one or a teenager doesn't matter if they're having a lot of secretions, lots of, well, gosh, snot. You have a ton of snot, sore throat, uncomfortable body aches. Keep them home for the first couple of days of a virus, with or without a fever. But after that first couple of days, they're starting to get better. It's time to return to school. You don't need to stay home for 10 days of a cold, just like adults have to go to work sometimes with a cold. They might stay home for the first couple of days, but once the energy starts to return, it's time to go back to school. Now we worry about other things too, right? Leave it to the school nurse to talk about nausea, vomiting, oh my gosh, and diarrhea. It sounds like a commercial from TV. So one-time vomit, a little anxiety, upset stomach, we're not concerned, you shouldn't be concerned, send them off to school. If have persistent vomiting, keep them home hydrate, and contact your physician for any concerns or worries. Diarrhea, the embarrassing subject. Well, the rule is in APS and most public schools, more than three stools of diarrhea in a day, you're going home, you need to be home. Continued prolonged diarrhea, concerns and questions, call your provider right away and talk to the nurse and get guidance from your provider. Can my child go to school with antibiotics? If your child has been sick, gone to the doctor, they prescribed antibiotics, they need to stay home for 24 hours and then they can return to school. If they need to have those antibiotics during the school day, you need to contact your school nurse and fill out a form and meet with the nurse and we can set it up so your child can have their medicine at school. Short-term medications like antibiotics that are only going to last a couple of weeks don't require a doctor's signature, but we do require a signed parent permission and our awareness that they're going to be on the medication. We need to keep your child safe and healthy at home and at school. Another area that comes up, or should say all over, is skin rashes. My child has a rash. Oh gosh, can I send him to school? Well, do you know what caused the rash? Some kids have eczema and can be covered in rash and uncomfortable. It's time to see a provider, but they can go to school. If you have an unknown rash that pops up, it's time to call your provider and check in. Once we have a diagnosis, 
more than likely, that child can come back to school. One of the difficult things that parents face is when their child has asthma. Sometimes it's hard to know when to send them to school with their asthma and when to keep them home. That's why you need to consult with your school nurse. APS nurses are able to provide a space for your child to come in and take nebulizer treatments if needed, and also a place to rest if they're not quite ready to return to PE. Meet with your school nurse if your child has asthma and make sure that you have an asthma action plan filled out so that we can help you with those sick days. As a mom and a grandmom, I remember how tough it was after a child was home for a couple of days to get them back to school. They weren't 100% and they wanted to stay home, but it's so important once the fever is gone and the energy is returning, it's time to return to school. It sends a valuable message to your child, not only that they're strong and resilient, but that school is important. APS nurses are here to partner with families. So please feel free to reach out to us if you have any further questions or concerns or you have special needs for your child. We are always available to answer your questions. You can find us on the APS Nursing Services website and you can also call us. So please reach out and let us partner together to keep your child healthy all year long.